Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zay here with another episode of Sage Experience. Today, we're gonna be going over how to groom your mustache. That's right, guys. I know a lot of people don't show you how to do this, but we all need it because we all grow mustaches, or most of us do. But come with me, and we'll check out what we're gonna do with my mustache. So, Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of an overhaul, guys. It's, um, I haven't done much to this and it's just been growing like crazy. But as with all beard advice that I try to give, the rule of thumb is always take small amounts. If you don't know exactly what you're doing or you don't know exactly how you want it, take very, very small amounts. Cause again, it take, beard takes a lot more time than just regular hair for most of us. Unless you're a werewolf, there's a couple of you guys out there that in a week you'll probably make it look like this. Not me, this will take me about four months or three to grow it to this point. But for most of, like I said, for most of us, rule of thumb, take very small amounts off and you should be good. So let's get right into it. First thing that I always kind of do is I kind of, kind of just brush everything down just to let me know what the length of everything is and it's actually pretty long to the point where I'm eating and uh, everything just kind of starts going in there you know so you don't want that or unless you do want a really long mustache and you're okay with it and sippy cups are your best friends then but if you're eating a sandwich, uh, good luck not getting hair in that. <laughs> However, I am gonna keep this fairly long and to the point almost where it's gonna be like, you know, interfering with my food. So at least what I'm gonna do is try to keep it short-ish from some points in comparison to other points to make it look like it's still pretty big mustache. I like my mustache looking big. I like it looking fluffy, so. I'm going for that kind of look. You guys can go for whatever look you want, but this is how how I trim my off a little bit. So, I told you, comb, go ahead and comb it out, bring everything to the center, and we're gonna work in parts. We're gonna work on one side first and then the other. So, grab everything and kind of split it up right through the middle. And there you can kind of see it a lot better. And now I look like a Mexican bandit. So good, we're gonna be working with this side first. So I see that a couple, like what I wanna do is I'm gonna start working like that, going down, like in that direction. We're not going straight up like that. We're not going straight down like that. Kind of from here, if we're here flat, we're gonna go a little bit down, which is, based on the contour of how my mustache grows. It grows almost like we wanna go almost parallel to that down here. So I'm gonna start taking really, really, really small amounts. And if you can kind of think about it, try dividing your, your mustache into three parts or two parts, two big parts I think is the biggest one. Here, this section right here that ends all the way to the lips right there. That's where the, my lips end from here. And then this kind of like tail part. We'll deal with this tail part towards the end. So this is kind of like the tail end of it. So let's start doing that. Let's, let's curl that one side. Let's curl that to the side. That way we can deal with it. And then here we're gonna try to partition it. Try keeping it, it's hard to do it, but you, you can kind of see there's a definition of it. Don't fail me now, Cannon. There you go. So you can see right there, up until there. So pull all these ones to the side and then cut a little bit down, depending on how long you want, guys. Like I'm gonna start really, really low. Even though I know I'm gonna want almost up until here, I'm gonna start way down here. And this is why I'm talking about like that already took a lot off in, in comparison to this side that already took 
quite a bit off, like as you guys can see. So I'm actually, I'm starting to get really happy actually with just cutting all of that off. As you guys can see, that doesn't look bad. Like we literally just removed a little bit, that way it doesn't go in to our mouths whenever we're eating or something like that. So now I'm just gonna try to even out and I'm gonna, again, cut diagonally and just kind of grab, try to even out all the hairs, guys. If you, if you want to see exactly how it looks, get one of these, pull down, and when you pull down, see how everything looks. Whatever you have to do, you have to lean in into the friggin' mirror. Let's see. Actually, I think that looks fine. I think that looks pretty even so far. Remember, you'd rather take a little bit off and take way too much. You can't add hair to your beard, guys. Yeah, I think that looks pretty decent. There's just this guy right here that's kind of roaming around. Look at it in a different angle, like that, and see if anything's kind of popping out. You're good. That looks way more controlled, way more tame than this side. This side looks like, I look like a schnauzer. So let's do the same thing to the other side. Again, partition it into those two big parts here, and then the side here, like the tail end. And let's do the exact same thing. Remember, it's where the lip ends, here. Sweet, what do you guys think? That looks, again, way more controlled, way more tamed. It gives the face a little bit more definition, especially if this is sharp and then this is just all over the place. That really helps. So now, what are we gonna do about these guys? This is pretty much tamed right now. We did what we wanted to do with it, but this looks like it's a little bit, going a little bit too crazy. What I'm gonna do with these, and you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want. As you guys can see, you gotta find the point where these start growing. So where your beard ends and where your mustache starts. Like you gotta find that point. And for me, it's actually, you gotta move your, your mustache around. It's right there. So I'm gonna twist these guys. And that's how much I have towards the end, that little tail end again. And first what you wanna, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna compare both sides to see how long they are. You don't wanna start on one side and then realize, oh, the other one was way shorter, so now I gotta take way more off or way longer. So, aha, uh -huh. see? This is a good example. This one almost looks a little bit shorter than this one. This one is actually pretty long, almost to the end. And here I barely stretch it. Actually, they're a little pretty, they're pretty even. Let's see. No, but, but this is another thing. This side actually has less volume. You can see that there's a little bit less volume than actually this side. This one has, it's a little fluffier and it, it grows different. It just grows. It's, it's what happens to most of our beards, guys. They're not perfect. They grow in different ways. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm actually gonna take very, very small amounts. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, from there, I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. You wanna take your, your comb, do that, and you're gonna wanna even them out. Cause right now, in my particular mustache, it looks like, they look like that. Like everything's kind of going that way. Even though I brush them, sometimes you know you get split ends and stuff like that. So you wanna just cut a small amount and get those off. That way everything's supposed to look in like that. Kind of just looks a little bit more even and kind of coming, growing down, you know? Very small amounts, guys, just the tip. And it's up to you whether you wanna take some of that off here at the end. I don't, I particularly don't wanna take any of that off. Actually, they look pretty even. And it's because 
I've been keeping up with that because one side I know grows a lot more than the other and then it'll start to look like a Mexican churro just kind of growing to the side. It's really, really bad. Um, so I, I keep up with those all the time. And actually this one is a little bit shorter than this one. So I might just take a little bit of that one off. But right now at the end, I'll show you. So again, just brush it down, compare. And it's like, okay, I don't want to take that much anymore. So again, diagonal. Because your mustache falls down. So you got to cut it that way. Because if you cut up and then, then it, it'll look like you can try it, you can for sure try it. I think that's more than enough there. Now, the other side. Same thing. You'll usually find that one side of your mustache or will work really well. It'll be super easy and, and the reason you, you'll find that out is because the hairs are a little bit more straight on one side than the other. They do a lot less of this, you know, a lot less split ends and stuff like that. It's just normal. Aha, uh -huh. so there you go. Actually, the side that I thought was a little bit shorter is actually a little bit longer and it's just because of these tail end ones. So what I'm gonna do is, as you guys can see, like this one's standing here and this one looks a little bit fluffy over here. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit off of this, just a very small amount, guys. Even though it looks way long and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to take a bunch off. Small. And then compare, small, compare, small, compare. Small amount. Looks like we need to take a little bit more off. Cool, compare, there you go, that's it. You see, if I would have taken a little bit more off, I thought I, need to, I needed to take a lot more off and it was just a small amount. I had to check it twice and that was it. So small, check, small, check, small cut, check. There you go. So yeah. That's how I tame the beast, guys. And now let's just put a little bit of product in and see how everything kind of looks. Today, I'm actually gonna use some beer balm. I haven't used beer balm in a very long time, but today I think it's the day to go ahead and do it. Any beer balms that you guys recommend, go ahead and leave them down in the description. Make sure you put it in through the entire beer, mess it up, just get it everywhere, everywhere. Try to get all the way to the bottom. Decent, give this a quick brush. There you go guys, see? I can even move a little bit of this to the side and we're good, yeah. Take a little bit more of the off of that mustache than I, than I thought I was gonna take, but I like it, it looks Beard, it looks, it looks balanced with the beard. Everything looks good, and heck, this will grow back in no, in no time for me. But in any case, guys, thanks for joining me in another episode of Sade's Experience. Please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Definitely, definitely leave a like and a comment down there. It really helps out the channel. And let me know what you guys think. What are some of the methods that you guys use to go ahead and trim down your beard, you know, just for maintenance or whatever it is that you guys do. If you have any beard balm recommendations or oils, leave them down there. I'll definitely make sure to give, give them a read and give them a try, you know? We're all learning from each other. But in any case, guys, we're done for today and this has gone long enough. Zay, out. Thank you.